Hey everybody, my name is Patrick Dubroy, and I just want to quickly show you some of the things that make Bump Top really cool to use on a touchscreen device. So first of all, on, in touch applications, it's really nice if the objects can move around like real world objects. And this is something we built into Bump Top from the very beginning. You know, you can move items around, they behave like real objects, they collide, they have mass, they have inertia. Uh, and this is really cool for simple little things like being able to throw an item and have it land in a pile. Another thing I really like about Bump Top is we have some gestures that are built right in that make it really nice and fluid to do certain actions. And one of them is the gesture we have for putting items into a pile. So in Bump Top, if I want to take all these items and put them into a pile, I can just circle them and cross through the center and they're automatically piled. This is something we call lasso and cross. Another thing that makes Bump Top really good to use on a touchscreen device is that we use radial menus. So if you look at the menu here in Bump Top, it doesn't look like a regular menu from a Windows application. And the key thing here is that the targets are actually a lot bigger, right? Uh, so it makes it a lot easier to hit on a touchscreen. If you use a regular Windows application on a touchscreen device like this, you'll find that you're often trying to click on menu items and missing them and hitting something else. So the radial menus in Bump Top uh, really make it nice to use on a touch screen. The other thing that's nice about radial menus is they support habituation. So what I mean by that is that for certain actions all I need to do is kind of memorize using my muscle memory how I do it with this quick gesture. And uh, you can do that for any of the items in, in the menu. Um, so, these are some cool features that require only a single point of touch. So what about multi-touch? What do we do for that? So if you've ever used something like the iPhone or the Microsoft Surface, you're probably familiar with some of the most common multi-touch gestures. So one of them is that you can use two fingers using this kind of anti-pinch gesture to zoom in, you can use your two fingers to pan around, and then you can zoom back out using the pinch. So you know, this is something that's pretty common and we wanted to support it in Bump Top. So we've shown you a few gestures here that use one or two fingers. Now these are really cool and useful, but we think that's just scratching the surface of what we can do with multi-touch. We've been working on some gestures that use three, four, five fingers to do some really cool and useful things. Unfortunately we can't show those to you just yet, but keep an eye out for those in an upcoming release.